Okay, so tonight we will discuss, We, you know, we're in the middle of discussing Nutella seed dye, wash, washing our hands before before eating bread. Um, and last week we talked about different kalim, different uh, cups, right? We said that you that in order to wash your hands, you can't just put your hand, stick it in under a faucet. You have to actually put it in a cup and then wash your hands with the cup. And so I was going over that with just a quick story before we begin that I was going over that with my friend. And he told me that he, he was at an exhibit the other last week after, after we were discussing these different halakhos together. And uh, at the exhibit, they said, you know, this is a washing cup. They said, this is this thing called a washing cup from 2000 years ago. And they said it's it's made it had to be made out of stone, not out of not out of earthenware. So you know that's because of the halachos that we were learning last year. But he said the washing cup, this is the washing cup, and he said it's literally the same thing as our washing cup today, just made out of stone. Um, most of our washing cups are not actually made out of stone. But anyways, tonight the focus of our shear is going to be um, what can you use to wash your hands. Um, you know, can does it, does it have to be water? What if I want to wash my hands with something like water? What if it's like orange juice? Can I wash my hands with orange juice? Or what would these things work for you to fulfill your obligation of washing your hands before before eating before eating bread? So, but just to just to organize it because um, the, the the way the shulchan aruch puts it, it's like it's a lot of different halachas together, and it's hard to kind of understand in an organized manner. So I think this is the most clear way to, to, to understand it, that first he discusses, okay, wh water, we know water, we know water should work, right? That if you wash your hands with water, that should work, no problem. So he discusses first three slash four, depending on how you want to define it. Um, it's really three different ways in which that water now becomes no good. Meaning I had water and at first my water was good for me to wash my hands, but if this, this, or this happens, three different things which we're going to discuss, that makes the water no good, and I can't use that water to wash my hands. And then he discusses a few special things, which not not so detailed, and then he moves on to discuss what is the status of not something which was water, not something which was water and something happened to it, but something which is a water-like substance, right? It was. It's not really water, but it's it's not, you know, but it's kind of similar to water, so like snow or like, or maybe even more than that, like, you know, like what about a soda, something like that. So that's, so that's really, that's really the layout of what we're going to discuss. So, so, and then, so now we'll get into more of the details. So the first thing, which, which could make a, a soil in water, which means soil of like, would make the water no good to wash, to wash my hands with. Is that if the water, Shachar says, if the if if the water changes colors, so the discussion there's a discussion about what it means to what does it mean to change color, and they're like, oh, if it changed color on its own, or if it changed colors from something else, and and so 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 there's a debate, and and so most most understand that it's actually not possible for you know there's I guess they had less uh, updated scientific understanding of water, and they thought that water could actually change on its own. You know, sometimes, sometimes, uh, one time we were at a, we were at a place at Airbnb and we saw the pool and the, and the pool water was green. So they thought that would be like, that would be the example of water that supposedly like changed on its own. So that water would be no good, right? That water would be no good. You can't, you wouldn't be able to wash your hands with that water. Um, and that's, you know, that's, but like, what about something like, what about something like something like mud? Like if I took water and I put mud in it, would I be able to use that? So they actually say that that would, that would be okay because, you know, it's, first of all, it's normal, you know, you can, it's normal for you to take water and put dirt in it if you want to make mud. Most of the time we don't want to make mud, but that's a normal use of water. Um, also, eventually what's going to happen over time is that the mud is going to seep to the bottom and the water is going to seep to the top. So that's, that's not the same as if my, my pool water just turned green over time because there's some like, fungus there's some like fungus or something in there um and that yeah that i mean so that you know that green pool water was was no good to wash my hands with but uh one of my brothers had some some bad uh some bad thing on his foot and it actually healed it so two of my brothers she is saying that it, that it healed his foot 
So, okay, you can't wash your hands with it, but if you want to heal yourself, I mean, I'm not a doctor. I don't think I'd recommend it, but it happened to have healed his foot. Um, but, but so what's it? So that would be no good. So that's the first way that water could become, uh, that's the first way that water could become no good to wash your hands with. The second way is if you used, if it was, the, if it was used for malacha. So malacha, we know by Shabbos, right? We talk about malacha means work. So if you, so the Shulchan Aruch explains that let's say you have a, a baker and he dips his, he dips his bread in the water. So you're like, he like, I guess the, when they made bread, it used to be very hard and they wanted to soften, soften their bread a little bit. So if he dips the bread in the water, um, he's using the water for something. And so now that water is like used water. That's like, that water has the same status as if I took water, I washed my hands with it. And then, you know, sometimes on Pesach, we go around with a big bowl and someone, someone wash their hands with the water. Now that water is collected in that bowl. So you can't take that water and wash your hands again with that water that's on the bottom of the bowl. That's used water. That's water that was used to, to already pour over you. So if I, so if my water was used for, for work, for different types of malacha, um, you can't use, you can't use that water to wash your hands. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of different discussions about that. Um, but some, just another important caveat for that is that you need to have kavana with that, uh, you need to have kavana when you, when you, when you do the malacha, meaning let's say, let's say a kid came in and he, he started playing with that water, right? So I have a, I have a, you know, I filled up, I filled up my water, my washing cup, ready to go. I just, oh, you know, some quick call. Okay, fine. And then I come back and there's a little kid and he's like playing around with that water. So he's, he just, he just has, so he just has kavana. He doesn't, he's, his intent is just to play with the water. He's not planning on using the water for something. So that, that, so that water would still be okay. It's only if you have intent to use that water for a specific purpose. And now that water becomes used water and you can't use that water to wash your hands. So they discuss what about like, what about like ice, for example, that ice, let's say, let's say I, uh, let's say I had a cooler full of ice and then I stuck a, you know, I'm sticking my different bottles of, of whatever I want to keep cold and ice cooler. Can I take that ice, melt that ice? We're going to discuss if ice is even good in the first place. Can I just, can I melt that ice and use that, and use that, uh, that water, which is made from ice to wash my hands in it? So you might think that that's used water, right? That, that ice was used, that was used already. So I shouldn't be able to do it. So that would be, that would be a correct thought. But however, that we say that the ice changed, it's got a prime chadash, it's like as a new face. Since it has a new face, that, um, so then it's it's okay for you for you to use and it's not it's it's not considered used water and another another application is what about like scented water like let's say you put like a like a spray in the water now the water smells good so they say also that's not called used water don't worry about it that's okay the only thing which is um which is which they actually i mean one of the things that they they they, they prohibit the shofar prohibits explicitly um, or the or the commentaries on the Shulchan Aruch, they say, okay, let's say a dog, they say, they, let's say a, well, let's say an, first let's say an animal, let's say an animal used, uh, started drinking from the water. So that would be no problem. You could still use the water to wash your hands. I don't know if I'd recommend it, but you could still use it. But they do explicitly prohibit if a dog drinks from that water, because when a dog, when a dog drinks from the water, apparently, uh, I don't have a dog, but apparently it kind of like, it touches a lot of water that doesn't get in its mouth. So there's a lot of water there, which the dog, the dog uh, got to, but didn't actually drink. So that, that is actually seen as something a little gross and you can't use that water for, to, to wash your hands. Um, but that, that's a good seg segue to the third way that you could actually make wa have water, but that water would be no good for you to wash your hands with. And that is if it's, if it's, so bitter that even a dog it's so gross or so bitter that even a dog wouldn't use it so the the Shulchan Aruch explains that what the, the hot springs of Tiberia the hot springs of Tiberia are no good are no good for you to uh for you to use to wash your hands so first they think oh maybe because it's just maybe because it's really hot and I can't wash my hands with hot water and, and then they say no it's not because it's hot Rather, it's because it's so bitter, right? That's that if it's not even, if, even if a, if a dog, if it's so bad, a dog wouldn't even drink it, then, then it's no, you can't wash your hands with it. I mean, nowadays you have like these, like a, 
prima donna dogs, you know, they'll only, they're only eat gourmet food, you know, special food. Maybe they're going to have Fiji water. So maybe, so maybe it's a, maybe, it's, maybe it's a little different. Um, but at least in terms of the way Hazal understood is that a dog would be, be more likely to, to, to drink more types of water. But if it's so bad that even a dog wouldn't drink it, then, uh, then it's no good. You can't use it to wash your hands. Um, so that would also like, let's say if it was super salty, and dog wouldn't drink because it's so salty, then then you can't use to wash your hands. Um, they, there's an interesting, very interesting halakha, which I don't think, um, I definitely don't recommend anyone does. But and I don't know if I'm understanding it right, but these are the words. I think it's what it's saying is that let's say you take, um, the halakha is that anything that comes from from water, it's like formed in water, it's, uh, you know, that's, that's, or that's where it lives. So you can actually use that to wash your hands. So what would that mean? So the example of Shulchan Aruch brings, let's say you take worms, um, these worms that were like from water, and you kind of like grind it up and liquid comes from it. So that's actually, I don't, he says that's okay to use for you to wash your hands. I mean, personally, don't recommend doing that. But again, that's, <laughs> that's what he says. It's good for water because, because it's created, it's formed from water. And there's, it's, there's an interesting halakha also. I think we're going to talk more about the concept of a chatzitza next week. What's a chatzitza? It means it's like there's like a, a blockage on your hand. Like let's say, let's say you're wearing a, let's say you have like a Band-Aid or something on your hand. Or let's say you have a ring on your hand. So can you wash your hand? Do you have that on your hand? Because maybe, because it's not touching your whole hand. So that's going to be something which we're going to, which we're going to have to discuss next week. Um, we don't, we're going to discuss more of those details. But one of the halachas about chatzitza, about this blockage, is that let's say, let's say, um, let's say you, you, you instead, let's say you had a cut. So instead of using your a band aid to, to cover the cut, so you can, if you use something which was from water or formed in water, um, it actually would not be a chatzitza. That's the halacha. So there are some who, who, uh, who maybe suggested that let's say you have a bad cut and you, you need to wash your hands or you need to go to the mikvah for whatever reason. That you should actually take a, a fish skin and use it to cover uh, use it to cover that, and that would actually be halakhically okay. Um, that's that's how that's what this halakh reminds me of. Um, but again, I I don't know if uh, if uh, your doctors would tell you you should do that. So there's important there's, next is important halakh about wash your hands in general. Is that what happens if you're unsure? There's different there's different things you could be unsure about. Let's say you're unsure if you washed your hands with the proper amount of water. Let's say you're unsure if you um if the water was okay, if the water was used or not. Anything that anything that you're unsure about. So the shulchan aruch says, it's if it's tough, if it's a suffix, then it's mutter since it's all the rabbanan din. It's not a, it's not from the Torah. It's not the araisa. It's the rabbanan from the rabbis. So therefore, if you're unsure, then um no problem. Just maybe maybe wash your hands again if you want to be safe. But you don't need that. You don't actually need to wash your hands again. Finally, this, this brings us to, um, I think, the most exciting, most exciting section, which is what is the status of a water-like substance? Meaning, so let's start, let's start with the, from more obvious to less obvious. So, okay, let's start with ice or snow, ice or snow. What do we think? Should be good or should not be good? Should be good, right? It's, it's water. It's just water in different... I would say different... ice, ice. How can you pour ice? So if ice ice melts, you can't pour the ice. But if ice melts, it's not your intention. It's, water. it's not your intention. What do you say? It's not your intention. Not my intention. What? To use the ice for washing. No, but let's say I bought, let's say I have ice that I want to use to wash my hands with. I didn't use it, or if I didn't use it for malafa. Meaning, if if I take if I just take ice out from my freezer and I don't use it for anything, then I could I could I could wait for that ice to melt and then wash my hands with it. What would be the problem with that? Yeah, I think I think that's I think that would be no problem according to according to everyone. And then you could turn that. I mean, there's what about I mean snow snow you could even use to even do a tvilas dime. Like if you wanted to dip your hands, we spoke for that last week. So there's another way you could. You could make yourself okay for eating bread. You could do it dipping your hands at tevila siyadim instead of pouring your hands, but it's a little more complicated. But if for sure, if it melts, if the snow melts, that's totally okay. You could that's just 
That's pretty much just water. Okay, but what about what about something that's not water? So <clears throat> yes, you would need you need to you need to uh you need to use I see chat. You need to use it. You still need to put it in a, a cleat. You still need to put it in a cup, right? If you're dipping your hands directly in the snow, then you said for tevilas yadayim for dipping your hands, you don't need a, a cup. But if you're melting it and using just water and then pouring it, of course, of course, you need to put it in a cup. But let's say what what about something that's not water? So let's start with um, most extreme. So what about wine? So wine. Do you think you should be able to use wine for to wash your hands? So wine, wine, we say no. Wine, you can't wash your hands. But what about something like, uh, what about something like um, orange juice? Orange juice, what do we say? Yes or no? No. You got some votes for no. Some yeah. votes for, some, some votes for yes. Okay, so if, so orange juice is okay, but wine is not okay. So how come? You know, for me, like they, they seem pretty similar. Why, what would be the difference between between them? So the Mission Bureau explained that the difference between them is that wine, wine is considered something which is like important. Why? Because you have a special bracha for wine. That um, when you, you know, when you, if you make a, if you want to drink wine, you say, I'll, 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 so, so therefore that, that's uh, it's special bracha. And so, if you're using wine to wash your hands, that's sort of seen as like wasting. Like you're taking something which is which is so which is so you know it's not really that it's so valuable. Otherwise, they would say like there there you know there are drinks that are more expensive than wine. You could get a very expensive bottle of scotch, right? And so that would still seem to be okay. I think it's because it's just because it's a bracha that you have a special bracha that you say for wine that that would be called wasting, and you can't use that to wash your hands. Um. But really, everything else besides for wine, halakhically, if you really need it in a time, it's called shas hadchak, or, or b'diev, it's shas hadchak. If you really need it, you could actually use it to wash your hands. But there, there is a difference, though, be, between the different, between different types of drinks. That, um, let's say, um, so orange juice, orange juice would not have the same status as something like Sprite, for example. Why? Because you remember when we talked about just the beginning of this year that there were different ways that you could turn water into something which is uh turn water which is good into something into water which is not good and one of and one of those things one of those things was if it changes color right so if it changes color um it's no good so so they say that um so we say that like coke for example they they, they quote this explicitly here they say coke since coke doesn't look like water so we only let you let you use Coke if you don't have any other options. But if you if you have no other options, then okay, go ahead, use Coke. That's okay. But if it's bright, since bright is clear and it looks like water, so it's okay. You could use it. And they say even lechatila, right? Even if you have, they say if you have water, you have Sprite, you could use either of them, no problem. But but I I they didn't comment about this because this I'm not sure about because they said what about like honey or uh or oil so that's also okay they say that's no problem you could use it right only if in a time of need it's no problem in time of need but the it would be okay i mean obviously if you have water it's better to use water but they say what's the reason why is because if i pour honey on my hands like let's be real my hands are not clean right now my hands are very sticky or if i pour oil on my hands my hands are sticky my hands are oily they're not clean so they say that there's another reason why it would make it from from uh, from you know, just as good as water to making it a busy oven, meaning only in really time of need, and that's if it doesn't make it clean. So I would think personally, I don't know about you, but I would think that if I wash my hands with Sprite, then I would feel like my hands are not clean. I would feel like they're a little sticky. But I was thinking that maybe, maybe this is what uh, this is what my Harus and I, this is what we thought that maybe the the uh, the um, maybe the rule that we could define is you know where because also like seltzer like seltzer is like this weird status depends if it's plain seltzer just bubbles then that's that's pretty much no worse than water that's just water so that should be totally that's totally okay even if you have water seltzer you could take you know that wash your hands no problem but where it gets a little tricky is okay let's say you have flavored seltzer so what's flavored seltzer 
is it is it like Sprite or is it like or is it more like or is it more like plain seltzer? Is it more like water? So the rule that we came up with, we have no sources, just from our head. So if you uh, if you like it, take it. If you don't like it, don't take it. Is that maybe anything that you would you would drink after you brush your teeth is called uh, it's called like water. It's called like seltzer. And if you if you want to drink it after you brush your teeth, that's more like soda. And it should only be okay if you uh if you don't have water. But if if you would drink it even after you brush your teeth, okay, that's like water. And maybe you should be able to maybe you should be able to to use it. Um, maybe you should be able to use it even if you have water. Um, so I see so a bunch of questions. We can take these questions now, but that's that's pretty much the end of both uh, Thomas. So let me see. I see the questions here.